Hi guys and welcome to this quick tip video from Bite Size Excel. Over our last few videos, we've been looking at our dynamic arrays and functions within Excel. In this video, we're going to talk about our hash or our pound symbol, which allows us to reference potentially changing arrays within our formulas. So in this instance, I've got a worksheet that's set up where I'm looking at the manager via a drop down. It's returning the employees via a unique and filter, and I want to sum up the total sales. So this instance, I'm going to go equal sum if. I'm going to select my range, which is my employees. And I want my criteria to be this employee list. However, this is going to change depending on what manager I've got selected. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the first cell and I'm just going to put a hash or a pound on the end of it. And you can see that it's automatically selected all the employees that are currently within that list. And then I want to total up my sales. I'm going to hit enter. And you can see that it's spilt that function down so that there's one return for each of the employees. Now, if I were to change this to a manager that has got either more or less employees, you can see that this function adjusts automatically. So here we've just got two. If we were to go to manager four, it's now expanded out to four. Again, this is very useful when you're creating dynamic and interactive workbooks or potentially for creating really useful dashboards. I hope that you found this quick tip useful. Remember to like and subscribe and I will see you on the next video.